let's build an estimate template here on the web app in RoofSnap. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and use an existing project. You can also build templates from uh, sort of like a test project. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have the roof sketched or measured. Uh, but we have this little test one here that we've recently used. And I'm going to uh, actually just click right into the project so I can see all the tiles. All right. And I'm going to come down here to estimates. Okay. Now, in order to build a template, you have to build it from an estimate. Okay. In this case, uh, we want to make sure we haven't added any pins because uh, we don't recommend putting any pinned items into the estimate template. Those will be kind of one-off uh, yeah. project level things. Accessories like vents and soil pipe boots, those are always going to be pinned, so we really recommend not putting those types of accessories into a template. Mm -hmm. So let's build a pretty simple roofing estimate here. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, just kind of giving it a name that we're going to just call this template. Number one, and of course we're not going to use a template to build a template, but we could if we needed to make a variation of an existing template. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and just create this blank. We have no items. In order to add items, we're going to start by clicking on the blue plus button in the bottom right hand corner. And let's start with the remove and dispose. Architectural shingle, that's going to be pretty common to go mm -hmm. right into the template, so let's grab that. And let's filter by shingles. And let's use a provide and install GAF Timberline HD shingle. Perfect. Let's grab that. Color, we have to select the color because we're adding it to an estimate, but it's not going to remember that color for the sake of the template. Okay. Always going to have us re-choose that color down the road. Um, and then we can hop over into materials and just kind of begin scrolling down. So let's grab fasteners. And let's grab uh, our most typical underlayment for this first template. And you can make variations. If you have one system that uses uh, 15 weight felt, but then you have a better system that uses synthetic underlayment. You can make different variations of a roofing system and easily apply those options when you're estimating the project. Great. Uh, so for this one, let's just keep it simple. Let's use 15 weight. And then let's grab the, the GAF Z Ridge. I'm gonna go ahead and just continue to navigate one page at a time so that we don't miss anything. Uh, so we've already got the ridge, so let's use the weather blocker starter. Okay. And we're going to secure that with plastic caps, uh, the underlayment that is. And we're going to need the generic ice and water shield. Go on to page three. We're going to do a closed valley system. Now with eave edge and rake, ed rake edge, one of the questions you should ask yourself is, when we install roofing, are we more likely to put metal at the eaves, drip edge at the eaves, uh, and at the rakes, of course? And if the answer is yes, you're more likely to, go ahead and add it right into the template. Mm -hmm. That question is going to come up from time to time. So let's put the one and a half, sorry, the one and one half inch T style eave edge, and the one and one half inch style at the rake edge as well. Right. Same question with step flashing. Most of the RoofSnap customers who uh, use our estimating platform will include step flashing because it's not a huge expense and it's more, um, well, you're better to have it on there when it doesn't exist than to not have it on there when it actually does exist on the roof. Exactly. It's very easy to delete items out from a template, um, but if you're more likely to uh, include that, it's better to have it than to not. Yep. Oh, so I accidentally included the copper and I don't want that. So I'm just going to uncheck that and come down and grab this 5x7 aluminum. Uh, same thing with apron. Now, this could go either way. I'd say half the companies that, uh, that use RoofSnap will include apron and the other half won't. Uh, so for our benefit, I'm going to go ahead and just include the apron metal in here. Uh, ridge vent. Again, are you more likely to use ridge vent on the job or less likely? I'm just going to throw it all in here, apparently. <laughs> um, inspection pins, of course, we don't need any of those. Uh, the, quite a few of the remaining items are going to be accessory items that we won't add here to the template. So plumbing boots, off ridge vents, roof decking, um, you know, chimney flashing kits, all this stuff we're not going to include. Uh, but let's just continue through these remaining pages and just make sure paint and sealant. Uh, we have a lot of uh, templates where you'll actually want to include one can of spray paint and one tube of NP1 on every roof. Mm -hmm. So putting them in the template means they'll never be forgotten. Uh, dumpster, you can include a dumpster or um, a warranty or something along those lines. 
Uh, but those items can also be pinned to the roof, mm -hmm. so you wouldn't necessarily need to add them to the template. Uh, and then if you were creating a template that included a low slope roofing application, you could uh, go ahead and put that in the template as well. Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and click the Done button. And this is going to give us a list. Now, we don't have any real measurements here, so we're seeing $0 on all of these items, except for the NP1 sealant, because there is a hard cost to that, and of course the spray paint, because there's a hard cost to that as well. Mm -hmm. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and click on the little three dot button next to the override mm -hmm. and save as template. Easy. Very easy. And this is going to be the GAF Timberline uh, base. Let's call that the base system. Okay. And we'll go ahead and click on save. And now we have that template. Nice. Where does that template live? I cut you off. You're, that was exactly where I was going. Uh, so let's come back to the list of estimates because you can create more than one estimate. Mm -hmm. um, multiple estimate options, building them with templates is probably the fastest way to get that good, better, best estimate created for the customer. Definitely. So when you have all of your templates created uh, or, your, or the ones that you're ready to use in your, in your estimating environment, um, you can give it a name. So let's, let's just call this one like second option. Some people will name them Good, Better, Best. Some people will name them by the um, manufactured product. There we go. And then you just load in the template. So what did I call that? GAF Timberline Base. Got it. So I can go ahead and click on that. It's going to add the template of those items as a second estimate option. And it has navigated us right into that second option. We can see all of the list of items here Wonderful. in that template. And from here, we can easily delete any items. So let's say we didn't want that tube of NP1 sealant. Maybe it's already included in a chimney flashing kit mm -hmm. and it's redundant. You could go ahead and just delete that item and it's gone. Great. Let's say that step flashing doesn't even exist on this roof. It's just an up and over. So you could come down and just quickly delete that item and it's gone. Wonderful. These items in this estimate have been built from our sample office mm -hmm. with sample pricing. And every RoofSnap account is set up with a very similar sample office that we're using here. Uh, so in order to make sure that you have accurate calculations for your estimating, make sure to set up all of your unique materials and pricing. Mm -hmm. Delete out any items that, uh, that you don't sell that aren't applicable. And of course, add any items you do. If you need any help with setting up your materials and pricing, please contact us directly and uh, we'll definitely help you out.